Hi there, I'm Mike Fortz and welcome back to Parlor to Parlor. And this is our last episode of the year 2013 and to cap off the season, I'm here today with someone that I believe many of you are familiar with and know and appreciate. I'm here with master percussionist and composer Dave Mahali. Hello. Hello world. <laughs> How are you doing today, Dave? I'm good. Excellent. Well, I know you've uh, I know you've seen a few of these, so you know you know the rhythm yeah. that I usually go for. A little bit. So I know you're involved in in various projects, and yeah, how would how would you describe? It could be, you know, your shimmering leaves ensemble, or just what you do in general. How would you describe the music you create in your own words? I try to respect the forms of whatever the music might be that I'm uh, approaching and um, and then there's the balance of trying to inject the moment uh, maybe an aspect of spontaneity in the forms if it's if it's appropriate depending upon if I'm called upon to play with somebody they may have a, an idea uh, maybe a, a little bit contrary to that and just being a musician uh, for hire sometimes I respect that it's it's a craft but I think in the music that I make and generate myself or the most calls that I get are the ones that um, have a balance of the composed mixed with uh, extemporaneous and that seems to be um, the way of creation that I uh, I gravitate towards so she explains a lot in terms of how well you fit in with the, a variety of ensembles I've seen you play with sometimes I get calls for what I do. Mm -hmm. Other times people don't call me because of what I do. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, at this point in time, I think you kind of play what you are. So um, and while I keep wanting to be supple and learning about other forms and other ways that I could um, communicate with music because music is a language, um, I like to maintain that, that balance or I seem to at least go for that. Who are some of the, the biggest influences, musically or otherwise, who have contributed to how you play, who you are? I've been long, uh, alive long enough now that I have such a gigantic long list of people or musics or experiences that have influenced me. I almost feel um, like I could just make a list that would last for the rest of this year and all the way through 2017. <laughs> but um, coming up, I heard music in the church where I grew up. And I remember hearing the organ. And I remember wondering what those sounds were. They, they were chords, but I didn't really understand them. I hear my, my dad singing. He kind of like imitated Dean Martin when he sang hymns. That made an impression on me. I remember hearing Ray Charles on the radio when I was really young. That really stuck with me, and Ray Orbison. And uh, early on, you know, Motown. And then through Hendrix. And then hearing Mitch Mitchell and the Allman Brothers. And then that led me to Pharoah Sanders and Coltrane. And that just opened up into a gigantic world. And then reading about Coltrane got me into Stravinsky. And I started listening to music from all over the world. And it just has gone on and on. Uh, but I really like the conversational drummers. The drummers that are interactive, mostly. Uh, I appreciate a good pocket and the session players, too. And um, that's part of the discipline of it. But the conversational drummers have been the most influential to me. The ones who 
would react to different instrumentalists and and then them, them on the other hand would interact with them. Mitch Mitchell had that, Ginger Baker had that, uh, the drummers that played in Santana had that, and then on to Elvin Jones and Ed Blackwell and Barry Ochil and, and like I say, I could just say names for years of people that I uh, was influenced by and that I adore you know, and learned from and continue to. And then other instruments too. I mean, piano and guitar. And yeah. So, it's a giant question. <laughs> and I've seen you play guitar. I've seen you play drums. I've seen you do a lot of different musical things over the past year. Uh, what would you say are some of the highlights or the most important to you, most important milestones that you've had over the past year, musically speaking? Um, I got to make a, a record of my own compositions at the very top of the year uh, called Rivers. It's a shimmering leaves ensemble with really fine casting musicians, Ara Anderson, David Boyce, uh, Michael Cavaceno, Charith Amarwardena, and Bill Norker is on a track. And that was wonderful. Uh, a great experience. We did it all first and second takes. Lovely recording. That was a, a wonderful thing. Then I got to go to uh, China and Vietnam and Laos. And I got to play music in China. And some in Vietnam and that was a really amazing experience to hear the, the music over there and to and to kind of represent uh, America and the, the language of music that we have here and then to mix it up over there so those both were gigantic and playing with Mark Matos has been wonderful. Um, and I'm going to leave a bunch of stuff out because I can't yeah. really bring it to mind now. But um, uh, also playing, I play in a, a band called Damada, oh, yes. which is, has a, a Chinese born singer named Wardana and a great bassist, uh, a great guitarist named Mark Schmitz, who has arranged this music for, harmonized it for the West on the guitar and we've been playing it also with Olive Mitra in that band and that's been super blast I'm playing for dancers and some theater pieces I got a calendar full of things that I've, I've done and they've all been pretty much they've all been highlights for me yeah you could probably have highlights every day around here I, <laughs> I, yeah I got challenges too yeah and, uh, but it's been some good fruit this year.